let's look over here at an interesting integral outcome. If I'm looking here and at this function 1 over x focusing only on this aspect of its domain and I mark here 1 and I'm going all the way up to infinity, I, I want to determine all of this area which is below the curve from 1 up to infinity. You can determine it by means of this. You're looking here from 1 up to infinity, 1 over x dx. The antiderivative or the integral of 1 over x will be natural log x. And you're looking at from infinity and 1. You're doing the upper limit, the lower limit, and the difference of the two. And that will give you the area of this shaded region. You'll have natural log infinity minus natural log 1, which is a 0. Your end result here is infinity. This region here, a shaded region, is all infinite in terms of its value. However, if I change the function to this, now I'm looking at 1 over x squared. It's a graph which looks something like this. But I'm only focusing here on from 0 up to infinity, the right-sided area. And I'm looking at from 1 up to infinity. And now I determine this shaded region, I can, by means of integral, I'm looking at 1 over x squared, which I'll just rewrite as x to the minus 2. That's the same thing as that. I'm looking from 1 up to infinity, dx. The antiderivative coming here, using your template, would be x to the minus 2 plus 1, divided by minus 2 plus 1, upper limit infinity, lower limit 1. When you clean this out, you really have a minus 1 over x. You're looking at it from infinity and 1. You put the upper limit, the lower limit, and the difference of the two. You'll have minus, you'll have 1 over infinity, minus 1 over 1. When you compute this, 1 over infinity tends towards 0. You're looking at minus, minus 1, and this area here will be equal to 1. When we were looking at this function, the area from 1 up to infinity was infinite. But when you're looking at this function, the area from 1 up to infinity is equal to 1, a very finite value. The exponent here made all the difference in terms of the convergence that you see over here and the divergence you see over here.